the night of March 12th, Brianna and Kenny went to Texas Roadhouse because it was a date night and it was one of the first nights that she hadn't had to work in, in a while. I called and they were eating. And I said, well, can I come join you? He was like, no, this is Brie Day. We're on a date. We went out to eat and after that we left her and then we went home. Brianna and Kenny had the apartment to themselves, which wasn't normal, because normally Janaya, Brianna's younger sister, would be there. But on that night, Janaya is across the country. They drive back to her apartment, they play some Uno, and they watch Hillary Swank and Freedom Riders. It was just chilling, playing Uno, you know, watching a movie. And then um, she was falling asleep, and so was I. Just a couple minutes after she had been sleeping, there was a loud bang at the door. They have no idea that the police are on the other side of the door to execute a warrant. I was watching TV and uh, feeling the breeze, and I had proceeded to hear pop, 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 and then two real quick pop, pop. It sounded like the OK Corral. Brianna lives directly across from me. I got woke up by gunshots. I jumped out of my sleep. It was insane. And so I immediately called 911. 911, where's your emergency? There was a lot of gunshots just now. Oh my God. They're still shooting. Still shooting? Come on. Y'all need to get over here. They're shooting my oh, like crazy. This just felt like it was in a movie because it just heard a boo, 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 boo. And then it was a short break, and then it just started firing off again. 911, please get home. Leave out here. They are shooting back. They just unloaded, and I heard somebody yell, yeah, reload. Man, they take shot about seven or eight. They right here in front of my house. I heard a huge volley of shots, probably about maybe 20 to 25 shots. Uh, I then cut my radio up. Report of a shooting at 3003 Springfield, number four. And I heard 3003 Springfield, and I knew that that was inside this complex. The radio chatter was kind of wild. 1030, 1030, officer down. 1030, officer Sean Springfield. Officer Sean Springfield, 1030. You need EMS? Up here now. Tell him to get up here. I immediately put my police officer uniform on. I put my my bulletproof vest on and sprinted down to see what was going on. Got perimeter unit hold position. Get masks and everybody bring rifles if you're going out there. There are dozens of other officers starting to show up to the scene. Most of them with rifles now, pointing them directly at the apartment. I'm still right there with Brianna holding her, but at this point now I got to do something, so I call my mother. I picked up that phone, and I heard him screaming. You know, Mama! He said, somebody's trying to break in. I think they hurt Bree. I said, hang up with me and call 911. 911, hey. Operator Harris, where is your emergency? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Somebody kicked in the door inside my girlfriend. OK, where are you located? I'm at 3003 Springfield Drive, apartment four. Oh my God. Where was she shot at? I don't know. She's on the grill right now. Help! Oh my God. Yes, help! Help! After he hangs up with 911, Kenneth then calls Brianna's mom. All I can hear is Kenny crying. And um, he said, somebody kicked in the door and shot Brianna. And so I said, what did, Kenny, what are you talking about? And he was screaming her name. I dropped the phone, and so I started to call her phone. And she wasn't answering. So I just, I rushed over to the apartment. While I was on the phone with Brianna's mother, 
You know, I, to I told her on the phone, I said, well, I think it's the police outside. But I was really thinking that the police came to help. It's still on side radio, barricaded with a long rifle. Uh, it, looks like, it looks like an AR. The officers think they're coming in for a gunfight. A group of officers were there kind of yelling in, in, the, in the direction of that apartment. And it sounded like they were calling, calling somebody out. When you watch that video of him being treated like a criminal, it's really horrific to watch. Walk back, I don't send this up. Walk back to me. Keep on walking. Walk down. Walk. Make your hands in the air. Get down on your knees. Watch that, man. Get down on your knees. Put your hands on your head. Let's get behind this car for cover. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? Who else in the apartment? Nobody. My girlfriend's dead. Tell him we have 11015. What? Is... How's your girlfriend? I don't know. Yeah, somebody. Y'all just... was banging at the door and she said, Who is it? And the other just started shooting. No, no, we down three we times. Police search warrant. What kind of gun did she shoot? Uh, it's a right nine, it's a regular nine millimeter. Did she shoot or you shoot it? It was her, you scared. <laughs> In this extremely tense moment, an officer asks him, who shot at us? And Kenny says it was Brianna. What is this about? <laughs> what is it about? Well, you guys fired shots. You know that. She, she, you just said you we were We were just in the bed. We were scared. Walk. No, we didn't know who it was. Walk. 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 Hey, just remember, the female is supposedly the one that shot. We're not for sure hey, of that. All right, we're moving up. One on me. Yeah, one. Ma'am, can you hear us? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.